We are fast approaching November 11th, which is Remembrance Sunday, and I've travelled to Warwick today to talk to Sodic about how they have brought this iconic symbol to life. Connor, we're stood in front of the VN600Q and we're going to be talking all about this amazing poppy that you've cut on this EDM machine. We're going to be starting off with picking the material. What material are we cutting? That's right, yeah. So this is uh, hardened D2, so it's about 55 Rockwell roughly. Uh, and we've basically just got a solid billet of material there and we've wired all the profiles out of it. So the next step is, once you've picked your material, is setting up the work holding. Um, it's just a basic th uh, 2D bit of material, isn't it? So it's quite easy That's to put it. the work yeah, holding. It's, it's a nice bit of flat plate, which is brilliant in a perfect world. Uh, but yeah, we put that in a little, uh, little vice and then uh, basically machined all the profiles out of it so we can use the wire on the machine to find all the part datums. So now we've got it set up in a vice, we now need to program it. Are you programming it straight onto the machine? That's it, yeah. So all the programming is done on board. So we've got two programming systems on there available and we've drawn that up on the machine from a 2D profile and then programmed it from there. So 2D profile, how long has it took you to program this? Programming time on that, you know, from uh, drawing it to getting it cut in is roughly 10 minutes. So once we've done the programming, which part are we cutting out first? So the first process is we've done the, the poppy petal first as a punch profile. So how long is that taken on the EDM that machine? That has took about an hour to machine in total to four cuts and a high surface finish. So we cut in the poppy leaf out and then what station's next? So next after that it's going to be the actual die for the poppy so we can then get the punch and die to fit together. Okay so next after that would be? It's after that we've done the the leaf so that's we've cut the punch for the leaf again yeah. another four cut profile so nice high accuracy and then we've cut the die to suit. And then I suppose it's the button And isn't then it? that's it yeah the core then the, um, the seed in the middle we've done that as a punch and then the die afterwards. But it's not actually three cuts, is it? It's six cuts. So we're actually cutting. We've rounds. done six profiles yeah. and each profile has got a four cut surface finish. So we're talking 0.3 RA surface finish and a, a two to three micron accuracy. So talking about everything that we've cut out, what have you got in your hand? So that is the actual scrap material from the, the die. So that's the female aperture. Male and female. Yeah, so we've got punch and die. So we've got the, the punch, which is the male form, and then we've got the, the female form, which is the die aperture. So how long has it taken you to cut that out on this machine? Roughly, um, <clears throat> the die and the punch would be about an hour each, and then 30, 40 minutes for the leaf, and then 20 minutes for the core, so. What are the speeds and feeds that you're using? The speeds and feeds, they're all generated by the machine. Okay. So we just need to tell it material thickness, wire diameter, and uh, what surface finish we want, and, and off we go. I know this is a demo piece, but what are the tolerances on this? That's right, so I mean, this machine is, is highly accurate and repeatable to two to three microns, so whether it be a, a nice fancy display piece or be a customer component it needs to be accurate, this machine can hold it all day long. We all know that the poppy is an iconic symbol, so why have Sodic done this? Well, obviously it's coming round to that time of the year again, you know, it's going to be Remembrance Day coming up very soon, and I think with everything that's going on in the world right now, you know, this just seems a, a quite a fitting tribute. 